It is Dante's 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 Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So, you know, a lot of people are speculating that Julio Cesar Chavez, he has a reputation of not making weight, coming in way over the weight limit, out of shape, and now he's training with Memo Heredia. Now, Canelo Alvarez, he did something that was really smart. He put in a contract that if Chavez were a pound over He's going to get charged a million dollars per pound. Now, I done heard fans basically say, and that means that Julio Cesar Chavez, he's going to be going in the ring broke, which obviously suggests that fans, they don't have any confidence that Chavez, he can make the weight comfortably. Now, and there's um, one person who disagrees with that and believes that not only will Chavez be in shape, but he'll be stronger and he won't have any weight issues and that's, of course, Chavez's strength and conditioning coach, Memo Heredia. Memo believes that Chavez, he's going to be stronger and he's going to be in shape or the best shape he's ever been in because he's going to have Chavez training in the mountains. Not only that, but Chavez, he elected to have Memo living with him throughout the training camp. So just that move alone suggests that Chavez is really, really serious when it comes to getting in shape for this fight. I mean, clearly he knows what's at stake. Chavez Jr., he knows that this is for serious bragging rights in Mexico as possibly the best fighter in Mexico right now. So Chavez understands this and it sounds to me like he's taking this fight and this task very seriously. Now, I told you guys before, I truly believe that the fact that Canelo is forcing uh, Chavez to do the right thing. This can actually work in Chavez's favor. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to beat Canelo, but once again, it could end up bringing out the best Chavez that we've seen in quite some time. Because I'll tell you right now, if Chavez can resurrect his career and we can see the undefeated Chavez, if we can see that type of Chavez, this would make for a very interesting fight. The type of volume puncher that Chavez used to be, where he was able to walk through punches and land, you know, he'll get hit with about three, but he'll come back and land his five. If we see that vintage Chavez, then this will be a serious fight. Once again, keep in mind, we're going to see Canelo fight at middleweight or almost super middleweight for the first time in his career. Now, I don't know if that's going to be an advantage or a disadvantage for Canelo because I've been told that Canelo, he walks around pretty damn heavy. So it'll be interesting to see how this fight plays out. But um, once again, man, hopefully Memo does get Chavez in tip-top shape and hopefully we see some great results on May 6th by Chavez Jr. So that's pretty much all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.